Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In the last sessions, we have seen how to retrieve the emails from a Gmail account and as well as how to send email to a Gmail account with and without attachments and how we also seen how to download the attachments from an email. So in this session, we are going to discuss about forwarding the emails in a G Gmail account. So let's see how we can achieve it. So we'll start with creating a new sequence. So here I have a new sequence with the name email forward. So here I'm just going to copy this in SMTP mail message activity. Okay. I'm just copying it into the email forward. And here I have the password. So copying this. So along with that, I just need to create a password variable. So I have already created a variable called password. Okay. So here in the activity of SMTP mail message, if you observe, we have one section called forward. So with the help of this session, we are going to forward the emails from one user to another user. So here I have a field called mail message activity. So the purpose of this mail message activity is it will expect the mails from a particular folder. If suppose if I am using the IMAP activity to retrieve the emails, so the object which we are retrieving is a collection of emails. So with the help of each loop, we are going to get the mail one by one from the inbox and then we are going to use that object in this field so that the messages which are coming from the IMAP activity will be forwarded to the configured user email. So here we can ignore the subject and the body as well. So I'm just removing it. Okay, as we have moving the forward, so I'm just deleting this subject and body. So for getting the email object, so what I will do is, so I will bring the IMAP activity from my main XAML file. So I'm just copying this get MF mails. Okay. Here. And then so what we need to do is so this will give the collection of emails okay, from my inbox. So I'm just changing it to, to the top one. So as I just want to get the mail from the inbox, the first mail I just want to forward to another account. So that's why I'm just using one here. As it is a red, I am not checking this only under my just box. Okay. So here what we need to do is, we need to add this for each activity. Okay. So for each, let just copy it into our design panel. And here what we need to do is, so here the input of this will be the mails. So which is the output of uh, get and message activity. Okay. So we are not going to make any changes to this kit and app main messages. So I'm just using the configuration as it is. Just change the top value as one. Okay. So here, instead of item, I'm going to keep it as I'll create one variable. So index, I will just use it as index. Okay. So here, it will be index. And next thing, what I need to do is so type argument. So just make it as system dot net dot main dot message activity. This is the important thing. And now I have a mail object called index. So I need to configure that mail into this forward field. So what I will do is I will pop this activity into the body of this for each, so that once it will, once it get the email. So that email will be forwarded to the configured receiver. So here my configured receiver is Leo Landings at gmail.com. So here what I will do is so here I will configure the index here. Okay. So now once the iteration is started, once I get the email from the Gmail inbox. It will be pointed by the index field. 
index variable. So that index variable as we have configured here, this will be forwarded to, to the receiver who is leolinuxleo at gmail.com from the sender called leo. So here if you want to configure the CCC or BCC, we can also configure in the receiver sections. So here I am not going to configure anything, I'm just configuring the two feed. So let's run this and check this how it will work. Executing this now. Our execution is happening now. The execution is ended. So let's check our email inbox. Yeah. So here we can see we got a different email. I think I took some other email. I expected this one as my top mail. Yes. Uh, so for it, it is speed unleash. Okay, so I think uh, this one is my latest email. So August twenty seventh. So it is the latest email. And why it is showing this JavaScript.php API sample PDF etc. So why? Because so I think I have configured attachments here. Uh, yeah, see, have three files with the attachments, so that's why those are also attached to the forward email. So, and if you observe this, you can see the subject of this email is showing as FW, which means forward. So, if you observe the remaining means, we don't have anything like FW, it is showing only the subject line. So, here, this is the way we can differentiate the forward emails and the the mails received from the user okay so so like this if you want to send the email to another you just need to configure the receiver email id here and if you want to keep the bcc or cc also you can just configure here so that's all for this session i hope you like this video please do subscribe to my channel for more videos on your path studio thank you